In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install Safe Workstations versions 21.10.640 in Amazon EC2 server and just print that in a uh, first Hello World applications. So for doing the installations, I'm going to refer that in this escape followed by that uh, uh, the hello world applications we are going to run it okay so for that i need a uh, like in you know first thing first uh, uh, we need a aws account if you have any linux server then you can also use it i'm going to use it in there so first of all i'll create that in a ec2 server i have already logged in into that in my aws account and i'm going to provision that in one server okay I'll mention that in a safe iPhone WRK station, safe work stations, and I'll choose that in a Amazon. It is also supporting that in a different different operating system. We'll talk on that in that part. Let me first provision that in one server. I let it be Amazon Linux 23 and uh, i'll choose the t2 micro followed by that i'll create that in one key pair i'll mention that in a chef -E wrk stations and then key and pem file and i'll create that in a key so key is downloaded i'll let it be uh, network i'll choose it a default and uh, i'll create that in a security group where i'll just mention that in a http and uh, this port uh, port 22 is also needed which will be by default it is allow ssh uh, disk space is as of now for see if workstations is fine and just we need to click on the launch instance it will be take a while uh, for launching that in a instance uh, i can see uh, Now it's a, a like in pending a status. So in between, uh, instead of waiting in this screens, I'll be go and talk on that in a uh, CIF official documentation. So we can go docs.cifio workstations uh, and install workstation. So here you can see along with a workstations, uh, uh, we have a CIF infra, in aspect, habitat, and many more supported platform amazon linux and it's saying 2x but we have installed 2003 and it's also support max os debian red hat enterprise linux centos ubuntu and windows these are the operating system and their respective architectures and versions uh, driver platform uh, like in alum linux and rocky linux system requirement it's a stated that it's a good to have uh, 4 GB of RAM and 8 GB of a disk space, but we, we have launched uh, launch in bit less. Uh, after installation, so PTC for stations will be installed. For Mac installations, these are the steps and all, uh, but we are going to refer that in a Linux one, and here we have. So uh, I'll perform this command followed by that in a, this one and the CIF will be installed uh, in that in our Amazon server. So again, I'm going back in that in my EC2 and I'll, I'll refresh it and it is running, that's good. Now uh, I'll just click on that in the server is up and running, connect button. So I want to do that in SSH uh, in here only, I don't want to connect in local because some of the organizations, they will not allow to <coughs> access that your server in that in a local environment so all all good uh, what i'll do first command i'll type that in a sudo and space iphone aisle so it will be privileged as a root user right <coughs> i'll be go to that in a command prompt and this is what we have to run it one by one so I'm updating that in a server and it's all good. Then wget, this is only one command.
installing the Ruby because uh, C4 corn that in a Ruby itself. And in Amazon 2013, this uh, leave crepes were required. It will be take a while. And it's completed. Followed by that, we have to check that in a, which versions of CIF, CIF, CIF got installed. <coughs> C5 on V, that is a final command where we can see C4 orchestrations versions this got installed infra in specs CLI habitat kitchen and cook uh, uh, cooker style versions okay now apart from that uh, because uh, we want to see that in a hello world example so I'll be create that in one hello.rb file okay and in that file, I'll just paste that in, a, you know, uh, the simplest contents, which will be just create that in one file in that in a local mode. So here we have a file and just in that current folder, hello.txt file will be created followed by the do, do keyword and then contents, whatever's contents of the file will be have as a hello world and then end. I'm just saving while saving just we have to type shift colon WQ and exclamations mark and enter the hello hello dot RV file got created now the next command is to run that in a shift client with a uh, like in particular file name so hello dot RB and everything is fine then you can see it is asking to accept the license and here we go you can see created the new file updated the content in that right so if I'll see ls iphone ltr and cat slash hello world dot txt and inside that hello world is there so uh, we install it we refer the documentations and created the new server in that in Amazon EC2 and install that in a workstations followed by the hello world example um, thanks for watching please like share and don't forget to subscribe it